And now we'll go back to the core of the mesh. We'll start at the top again. And we're going to start adding more detail to finish the model off. We'll get nearer to finishing. This one will go in for uh, for a, a sculpting in ZBrush for the final. So um, we've got to now work our way down, make sure there's enough detail where we need it for what we want to do with it later. So that would mean working back over the eyes. So I'm going to start from the horns, just work my way around, looking at the silhouette, looking at where I can improve it. So it's good if you start from the horns and work your way down, you're virtually starting from the top. The good thing is you know that you've got no silly polygons in terms of n-gons or tries because you've cleaned it already. In the end of the last stage we cleaned it right up, um, which gives you lots of confidence now that you can just go ahead and just work on it, shaping it, adding detail, which is great. In a moment, we'll go back and do it in uh, subdivided mode. Add lots of detail around the back because that's we said that was horrible from early on, didn't we? didn't have mirroring turned on. Um, that's made a little bit of a mess for me there. Soon fix it. The um, oops. A lot of the time now you could probably turn um, mirroring off because we want to start getting some nice um, breaks in the symmetry. Um, We want to do that because in nature there's not many things that are that symmetrical. Um, oops. We're we'll getting there now. Just tightening the mesh. Using that smooth button in this program that I really love gives me lots of uh, ways to tighten. I'm going to put some little bit of detail in the back of the head now in terms of bumps. So down here we'll throw in uh this will be the base of the neck. Oops. Here. And if you ever want to put a crease in, uh put two of them in or at least two. Like so. And if you put in two in and then have a look like that gives you two quads at the end, no issues whatsoever. You don't have to worry about making tries because you've put the two loops in simultaneously. And that gives you a nice crease in the neck and it keeps this flowing around here. And you can just repeat that if you want, so do it again. One there. 
Do you want that? turned it around that means we can put another dimple in the neck that's how we're going to do the uh, furrowed brow in a moment but you'll see if I subdivide that's giving it a nice ripple and there's no silly um, shapes to cause any problem like tr uh, I've tried but it's giving it a nice bump in the neck with very little effort Because the core of our edge loops are right now, okay, and we're not going to worry too much about what we're doing because everything is following a pattern and everything's keeping the edge loops are keeping everything nice and neat. Wherever I'm splitting, generally I know I'm okay as long as I'm following my own rules, not leaving too much of a mess behind anywhere, not going too high polygon where I don't need it. See, there's not a lot around here that's needed. Um, what we will do, um, we'll split under here. Let me just take a look at this, how far up that goes and that goes. Obviously too far up. So I'll... We don't want to go splitting this too far now, so I'll split it like that. Um, end it there and then send another run around the back which will give us a chance to do another bump but not as aggressive as the first and then we can even it out down here where we don't need it so what that's done is it's given me a split on the jawline and we can start now tucking that in a little bit tighter than it was pull out the middle one tuck in the back one and give us a much more rounded jawline now Let's do um, put in effectively an Adam's apple. So I'm extruding out. It's quite a bold move that we did when you consider how delicate we've been so far. If you look at that straight away, it's given us a nice Adam's apple. Check the reference a lot more um, to make sure you're happy with what you're doing. Don't just go randomly making body parts without checking the reference but as long as you you're following it closely you'll be fine but splits where you think you need them but don't leave a mess now at this stage if you can help it keep your keep your quad quota the same now so you're up to uh, you got up to 100% quads very very well so keep keep that the same wherever you add in now clean it up on the fly um, chin's okay coming around here let's tuck in under the um, we can afford to put in another loop all the way around there which will give us and another loop in there it will give us a nice rounded feel and a tucked in lip really tight under the lip and we'll even indent the chin I think has that gone too far just looking yeah it has just give it a little bit of a Kirk Douglas chin there 
because we want two little fatty deposits under the lip which is one here and one the other side just checking why that symmetry had gone off I'm not going too mad with these loops as you can see but I am putting a few more in here, there and wherever needed. <coughs> 